Well, Anthony, looks like you won. I mean, if such a term would apply. If I was wearing a hat, I'd take it off. Should we get on with it then? Keep your hat on, slow-mo. Looks like we got sold a deal of goods from the same salesman. <laughs> nice speech, though. I wish I was standing for it. You, you, you brought this down on our heads. Me? You! You hired good cat to kill my son. Uh, after you tried to kill my son? I had no hand in that. Oh, just like in 84. I bet you had no hand in that. <sighs> yeah, just a finger, maybe. Time's up, Shlomo. Lying to a dead man's like lying to yourself. Look, you were getting just too big. Try to appreciate waking up in the middle of the night with six bullets in your stomach. Lying in a pool of your own blood and shit. With your dead wife's eyes staring at you. I managed to save my son. And after all these years, in spite of what we believe in, I had nothing to do with it. You know, you're lying. Look at my face. Look at the smile on my face. Your son is dead. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Shlomo, are you familiar with the shmoo? Fisher. Fisher, listen. I already told you. I'm not Nick Fisher. Well, then who's Nick Fisher? I think you mean who was Nick Fisher. Fisher was the answer to a question. How do you get to two men that can't be gotten to? You get them to come to you. To do that, I needed a name. Where do you find names? In books. Your bookies had books. I was looking for a loser. One in both books. I just had to make the phone ring. Just pull the trigger and wait for you to call the man that takes the jobs that no one else wants. Whatever they're paying you. There's no they. I did this to you. Me. <laughs> you? Me. Who are you? Aqueduct. Seven horse, tenth race. Ring a bell? His name was Max. Max placed a bet with a bookie named Roth. Roth laid the bet on you and you. You? No, you're dead. You're dead. Two of you killed everything I ever loved. My father, my mother. Remember this part? No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you both. 